Hello and welcome to the show. This episode of Fair Race, we start off on Wreckfest with a little European coupe car getting bullied. And the figure of eight truck gets smacked into the wall and proceeds to roll all the way down the straight into the middle of the figure of eight. But that's never a safe place to be. <laughs> Collected by another car, and still the vehicle is rolling about. Finally, gets onto its wheels. Yeah, that got a little bit bullied in, uh, in all of that. Uh, yeah, an unfortunate place to get crashed off. Uh, Sonic Hedgehog 75 on Forza Horizon 2, finding a uh, strange mystery bump at the start of one of the races. So we're running with the uh, the bowler here. Comes through the first corner and for whatever reason the car gets thrown up into the air. A little bit confused by this he rewinds to carry on the game. Uh, this time round it's the AIs though that find the bump. I don't know what was there. There's strange magic going on. The uh, the streets of Nice. Yeah, I have no clue. Oh, there's not even like there's a lamppost for the cars to hit or something uh, on the ground. Up next, uh, Zombie Cheese on Horizon 2. A little bit of a cross country, goes slightly wrong, bounces off something, can twists and turns and lands on his wheels, and can carry on to go and take victory. There's a little bit, normally when things go wrong, uh, when you're off roading, it doesn't end up quite so nicely for you. Uh, Largo Lime again on Horizon 2, doing a speed run with the Alpha 33 that does a wheelie at a bad point, and sure enough, there's starting cartwheeling and front flipping. These cars. <laughs> A pretty scary things to drive fast as it can't quite decide. We go to there, we are. We are going to finish uh, rolling. Yeah, they like to do wheelies with the uh, interesting weight distribution uh, on them. Starts 200 ZX, SX, sorry, on uh, Horizon 2 again. Finding the driver tar graveyard for whatever reason, this particular <laughs> this particular area has confused many a driver tar. It's, it's not even, they're not even attempting to move. I mean, we've seen the odd one get stuck. This is, the, they're on the road, the skyline, and the Aventador <laughs> are just sitting there. And there's three cars in the field, just parked up. And then another one is going to go and, I don't know where he was thinking of going. He's going to join them and probably get stuck. The Mazda is the only vehicle that is not stuck in this area. There is something peculiar going on. Look at the ball. They're just they're not even trying to move. They're just going to sit in a field. Eh, driver tars being driver tars. Uh, AMG 568 with a Volkswagen Beetle that uh, wants to go for stunt of the week with some backflips and some rolls and we're going to bounce off a wall and we're going to stick the landing as well. That was uh, an awful lot of uh, flipping for one Beetle. Strange way it got, uh, got airtime as well. Again, we have another car going for stunt of the week, the Noble M600. Uh, doesn't quite know when to finish rolling. I think Noble have been working on a perpetual motion machine and this seems to be the one. It's just, it's still going. We've got no momentum, but we're still going. Unfortunately, Forza ends the crash before we could see how long it would have carried on rolling for. Uh, a set of course this time with a Shelby Cobra. Things go a little bit wrong and apparently it finds a minefield on the inside of the course. I don't know what caused the car to suddenly flag up in the air and now we're rolling downhill and then there's more bouncing around and the Cobra is just, it's just going to keep going down the hill on its... Yeah, that's not... It's not really ideal. Uh, <laughs> that one. Uh, Forza 153 on Euro Truck Simulator 2, finding out why lag and trucks are quite a bad thing. As uh, his vehicle goes soaring through the air thanks to a, uh, a laggy truck, and now it's stuck on its roof. Yeah, lagging games is always quite bad, and when you have rather large and rather heavy trucks to get flung around, it kind of makes it extra bad. Uh, now it's, it's stuck on its roof. Uh, I think the laggy truck is still going on somewhere uh, around as well. It's quite difficult to roll trucks, uh, and, to, and to fly them that far off the course is uh, quite impressive. Stunt to the week, though, goes to Misty Crom on a GTA 5, running around the race course, hits a container, and it's flipping and twisting and flipping, and oh, we're fine. We're still pointing the exact right way. It's, like, no, no change of direction was had in that flip. I think it did two or three rolls and twists, and it landed pointing perfectly straight. That is very, very impressive. A thick fuzzball 84 on GTA 5, doing some off-roading with a Lamborghini, never a good idea. Only this time it's the trees that decide to play a game of catch, and the Lamborghini is stuck. I've never seen a car get stuck in the tree, like, properly 
inside the trees there. I mean, they bounced off them and so on, but that is well and truly caught by the trees. Uh, but uh, certainly most spectacular explosions go to Paddy Fancy on GTA 5. He's gone and crashed into a scooter that's probably exploded, uh, that then exploded the car behind it and set his car on fire, and Trevor did his underpants, but, well, it's Trevor, so what do you expect? Uh, and the explosions just keep going on. A truck drove into the crash, that promptly exploded. Someone decided to run towards the explosions, because that makes perfect sense. Then, <laughs> then gets fired back across and hits the front of a Landstalker. Now two more trucks have gone up in flames, a dump truck is trying to avoid the chaos. I think somebody tried to climb, I don't know where, there's, 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 there's bodies everywhere. The trucks are getting incredibly confused, another Landstalker's on fire. There's uh, a Huntley trying to run away. Another person trying to run across the road gets hit by another Huntley. A Vespa is just driving into the side of the truck for no good reason. And there is much fire. The police are going to make a mess of everything. And now have exploded as well. It's just cods are going on. The player here has done nothing apart from the initial crack. There's, there's no extra grenades or C4 at this. The crack is still. The explosions are going on. Another Huntley is trying to get past. And the problem is, is more cars piling. It makes a bigger roadblock that causes more cars to get stuck behind it. And as things are just still exploding up here, it blows up the car behind it and so on and so forth. There goes a Landstalk, a utility truck is a going up in flames as well. It's just carry on. There's more and more <laughs> explosions. I've never seen this on GTA 5. In all of my many hours of playing, I've never got anywhere near this sort of ac a length of accidental explosions uh, going on. It really is quite impressive, that, uh, that, that explosion chain. Anyway, there we go. That is it for this episode of Fail Race. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, if you can, have a, you can find a longer accidental explosion chain on GTA 5, I'll be very impressed. Uh, you can submit them on our forums. There will be a link in the description at the very top of the forum page. There is a fail race clip submission, and all the rules and so on can be found in there. But uh, that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.